Good evening and thanks for joining us. Health experts from across the country are growing concerned over the recent rise in flu cases. They're now calling it an abnormal flu season with cases spiking now instead of in the winter. News 10's Hannah Holman spoke with several local health experts today. She shows us what flu cases look like here in the Wabash Valley. Patrice Rondrell, as the warmer weather returns, normally flu cases are on the decline by now. But this isn't an ordinary year. Health experts are seeing cases rise to new levels. Fever, chills, congestion, coughing. These are all common symptoms of the seasonal flu, and they're making a big comeback this spring. Take a look at this graph from the CDC. Nationwide flu cases are reaching some of the highest levels we've seen all year. Typically, flu positivity rates peak in February, but instead we are seeing that peak in April. Local health experts agree on why this is happening. People not wearing masks as much now, you know, there has been relaxation of that. And with flu being spread by respiratory droplets, um, you know, the masks were helping with that. According to data from the Indiana Department of Health, Vigo County is seeing a 2.6% flu positivity rate from doctors, offices, and clinics. This is almost double the state average of only 1.36%. Now, this may be an unusual time for cases to spike, but health experts say it's not uncommon to get the flu during the spring. It's just we are noticing it more this year. It's just the past two years, we didn't see it too much. And so if we go back and look at the flu cases prior to COVID, it's going to be pretty similar to what we're seeing today. Maybe we got hit a little bit harder towards the end of the season than we normally do. But even with the recent spike, new data shows cases will be on the decline soon, especially if more people continue to use basic healthy precautions. Wash your hands. That's a big one. And I know it's simplistic. We teach our children, kindergartens, you know, our school age kids to wash their hands. But that's one of the main ways that we pass illness from one to the other. And the good news is health experts still believe flu season will wrap up when it's supposed to, which is normally the end of May. For more data on this year's flu season, we've linked you to resources on our website at WTHITV.com. Patrice and Rondrell, back to you.